Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Galgeist or Gorgeist, however you say it. Uh, we've got three sets for you, two generic sets and one Dynamax set. Obviously Galgeist has the interesting um, different forms, so it has the super size which allows for the defense to be really high and it also has the small size which allows for the speed to be really high. So I've got a couple of different sets of different scenarios. The first one we've got is using the Super Size, the biggest one, and this is much more of a defensive support set in a way. So we have Leftovers as our item, and our ability is Frisk, so knowing what um, the opposing Pokémon is holding can be really handy. It can give you an idea on how that Pokémon is being run. So for example, with Clefable, if it's got a Choice Specs on it, it's unlikely to be a um, Stall variant. It's unlikely to be a Pokémon that's going to be um, healing itself up frequently. Move-wise, I've gone for Leech Seed. Um, Leech Seed, obviously, very good move. It allows you to get a little bit of health back at the end of every turn. Obviously, it can cause some switches, um, allowing for you to get the upper hand sometimes, definitely. We've got Giga Drain, which is a powerful grass-type attack. I know we do not have as good special attack stat, but using that Giga Drain to your advantage can be really, really good. Um, letting you get a little bit of health back, that's the main focus on this set, making sure your health is good. You've got Toxic, and then you've got will -Wiz. Now. I believe Toxic is a transfer move, it might not be, but I believe it is, so you probably want to double check that on Cerebi before you um, do any breeding. And yeah, so we've got Toxic and Will-O-Wisp. If you don't want Toxic, you can go for something like Shadow Ball, um, but that's your choice. Um, but Toxic is here for things like Stallers, so you can uh, Toxic them, allow them to um, start racking up the damage on them. Then you've got Will-O-Wisp for physical Pokemon, which... Physical Pokemon can be a massive pain. As soon as you will list them, it halves their attack power. So even if you've got a Conkelda with uh, 405 attack, that halves it down to 200 attack, which makes it a lot less of a problem. Unless it's Guts. Then you have something to worry about. EVs, you've got max HP and max special defense. With Calm Nature, some more special defense and less attack. You could go for max defense if you wish. It's entirely up to you. Um, if you go for the max defense, you do want to go for the bold nature. But as I said, it, well, no, not as I said, but depending on what you want, uh, you can go for whichever one uh, you fancy. The second set is working with uh, Gold Guy Small, and this obviously has a lower attack stat, but. It has a really fast speed. So base 99 speed is really good. Uh, I've got the plus investment with the Jolly Nature on the speed there. Basically because um, it will outspeed unpositive speed natured base 100s. Uh, that allows for it to be just that little bit faster there. And just that outspeed then. Basically causing a little bit more damage. And then we've got Assault Vest on here. We've got Insomnia as the ability. I uh, just want to show off a different ability. You can always use Frisk if you want. Uh, we've got Seed Bomb, which is a powerful Grass-type move. You've got Shadow Sneak, which is a priority Ghost-type move and boosted by Stab, so it's really, really good. You've got Rock Slide, which can hit things like um, Fire Types, which can be a massive pain in your bum. And then you've even got Flame Charge. You can even further increase up your speed, if you like, with the Flame Charge on here. So a little bit of variety on here. Um, you've got Max Attack and Max Speed with a Jolly Nature, so more speed and less special attack. You can always go for Adamant if you want. If you think you're going to get that Flame Charge, flame charge off, sorry, um, you can go for the Adamant. Having the Assault Fist on here allows for you to just have that little bit more bulk so you can live some more hits um, and that can actually make a huge difference here. The final set we have is kind of somewhat a quirky set. We have a Choice Specs um, Dynamax set. So the Choice Specs normally will raise your special attack by 1.5 times and cause uh, you to be locked into a move. When you're Dynamax, that is not happening. Um, you are not locked into a move and have not got the increase in power. I would recommend when you are Dynamax going for Sludge Bomb three times. Um, essentially, Sludge Bomb turns into Max Ooze and raises your special attack power by one time each. So you have 2.5 times on your special attack, which will make it very, very, very high. Um, it will go up from 215 to well over 500, which is really, really good. Um, you've got Sludge Bomb you can then use on things like Grass types. You can use it on Fairy types. You've got Shadow Ball um, as a strong stab. Ghost Move, you've got Giga Drain to allow yourself to heal up a little bit. And then you've got Flamethrower again for a variety move. 
EV's gone for max special attack and max speed with a team of nature, so more speed and less attack, and four EVs in special defense. That is all for Girl Guys today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out for it, so be a good one, and I'll see you soon.